of this team, we ask that we embrace change and innovation in the ever-evolving landscape of investment. The Homer Bay County International Investment Conference serves as a beacon of progress, not just for Homer Bay County, but for the entire nation. It provides a platform for collaboration between different levels of government, the private sector, and key stakeholders. The theme is not just a slogan, but a call to action. It is an acknowledgement that our counties are rich in resources, skills, and untapped opportunities. As we deliberate on this agenda, we are essentially charting a course for sustainable growth that goes beyond the conference. Yesterday, Your Excellency, the Women Governors pre-launched the G7 strategy. The plan aims to empower and support the seven female governors in demonstrating efficient and strategic governance within the devolved structures, a crucial approach to ensure the successful implementation of our plan is women's economic empowerment and financial inclusion. Your Excellency, it is our hope with leaders like Gladys Wanga, Cicely Mbarire, Susan Kehika, and all the other female governors and Vinyandeti who are here that will set an example that will help us achieve in elected governor's office 30% of women um, governors in the next election. That is why we are saying G7, to G16. Your Excellency, county governments are in sync with the national agenda of bolstering the country's production capacity to revitalize key sectors, aiming to enhance productivity and eliminate hunger and lower the cost of living. Your Excellency, each of the 47 county governments has unique opportunities for investments, and all of us have identified our value chains and are working with the private sector and stakeholders under the implementation of the KIPES initiative to ensure that we are working to improve um, employability and to bring investments in, this, uh, in our counties. Your Excellency, in addition, the counties have gone further to provide a conducive business environment. They have worked in the adoption of digital technologies. They are working with youth empowerment and establishment of incubation hubs. Your Excellency, we are also providing necessary infrastructure and amenities so as to attract these investors. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, and Your Excellency, as a council, we note and appreciate the role of the private sector as partners in transforming the county's development and growth through investment. We are very grateful to the private sector for your contribution is immense and is evident across all the counties. As I conclude, I would wish to urge us to seize this opportunity to work together, to share insights, and pave the way for a big, brighter future, not only for Homer Bay, but for all counties in our great nation. I am confident that this conference will serve as a catalyst for transformative change and set a precedent for collaborative economic development initiatives across Kenya. To my sister, Governor Gladys Wanga, your favor for leadership echoes the famous Luo proverb, Rabot Thako Kileng. Rabot Thako Kileng. For those who don't know, Ange Odoluo Martin, meaning a woman's throw never misses its target. This sentiment is vividly manifested in the proceedings of this conference. We wish you all the best and success in the conference. May you get many investors and may all the women governors thrive from G7 to G16. Asante Nisana Erokamano.